welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope all is well. If this is your first time of seeing my video, please subscribe and click on the notification bell in order to see future videos that will be posted on this channel. So today, we are going to talk about a beautiful topic, the simulation. The simulation describes a situation where a person hides their true feelings, intentions and character. It talks about the concealment of a person's thoughts, feelings and character. In other words, the art of the simulation is the art of secret keeping of something a person do not want other people to know about. The simulation could also mean misprision, mystification, perplexity, de-identification, enigma or quotation, obscuration, laundromat and smooth screen. Secret keeping has been in existence from the beginning of time. Even God, the creator of the whole universe and multiverse, has secrets, which is why he is and will always remain and he is and will always remain indispensable. Nations of the world too have secrets, which has kept them in the positions they occupy in the world economy. Secret keeping has been in existence for as long as man has lived on this earth and even older than man, if I'm not mistaken. This is why secret keeping is very, very important in our current age and time. However, some secrets are quite heavy for a person to bear. This has led them to have no choice but to share it with somebody they trust. This is because they believe that that person cannot expose that secret based on their trust on him. If they are right and the person does not expose it but rather conceals it, then the secret is safe. This person in question I'm talking about is generally known as a confidant. He could also be known as amigo, repositor, confessor, father figure, compadre, consigliere, mosquitia, fidus achet, and consultant. A confidant is naturally dependable, reliable, and a rock upon which others can anchor on. The confident secret keeping ability is very rare because it is a hard quality that can only be possessed by few people. In fact, it is a God-given gift that few people possess all over the world. This is the essence of this video. In order to notify a lot of people about this ignored but rather powerful problem that is busy eating up relationships and destroying lovely brotherhoods all over the world. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 13 says, A gossip goes round revealing secrets, but those who are trustworthy can keep a confidence. When you tell a wrong person your secrets, there is every chance that that person will expose it. Very soon everybody will hear about it. This is because a secret word depends on the people from whom it must be kept. When a secret is exposed, it is the fault of the man who confided it. Even if a person is your father or your mother or a friend or a brother or sister or even a spouse, it is important you test their capacity to keep secrets before you can deem them fit to tell your secrets. Therefore, you must check it. It's very, very important that you check it. Some people are not suitable for the role. Some are enemies in disguise as friends. And even though they may be confidence to those they love, they will never be such to you. Some are just an open book and will say it whether you like it or not. This is why you must learn to test people's faith in you and their silence capacity before you tell them your secrets. As a brother or sister, why would you reveal a secret your sibling told you? As a spouse, as a wife or husband, why would you expose the secret your spouse told you? As a trusted friend, why would you expose the secret your lovely friend told you? The truth is, when people discover that you cannot keep secrets, the news will go far and wide and everyone will stop telling you things, even things they are not supposed to hide from you. If you are somebody who, is, who reveals what people told you in secret, you are completely inhuman and do not deserve a good friendship. With time, you will be known as a tattletale or tattler or a gossip. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 19 says, 
A gossip goes around revealing secrets, so don't hang around with shatras. Some of you will claim that you have not betrayed anybody in your life before. But in reality, you have betrayed so many through your inability to preserve the secret they have told you. Some of you are very, very good at using other people's secrets against them, even when you quarrel with them. Some of you, it has got to the extent where some of you has been known in your locality that everyone refuses to interact or relate with you. At a point, you begin to feel isolated and rejected. This is because you have refused to keep your mouth shut. Micah chapter 7 verse 5 says, Put no trust in a neighbor. Have no confidence in a friend. Guard the doors of your mouth from her that lies in your arms. When you have observed everybody around you, and discover that no one is suitable to be a confidant in your life. It is important that you train yourself to become your own confidant in order to avoid stories that touches the heart simply because of you carelessly told wrong people your secrets. Above all, whether you have a secret or whether you are told a secret, it is important you learn to keep your mouth shut because confidentiality is the essence of being trusted. Thanks and God bless.